Hi guys and welcome to today's tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to do this gradient stamped sweet manicure um, over black gel polish. Um, I know a lot of my subscribers um, are nail technicians and um, I've been getting a lot of questions about you know the stamp isn't coming off um, on the nail properly um, so hopefully this tutorial will help out with that as well as obviously giving you a bit of inspiration and showing you how to do this absolutely gorgeous gradient so if you want to find out how I created this then just keep watching okay so to start um, with this tutorial you're going to need a black gel polish um, obviously if you're doing this on natural nails you will need a base gel polish as well obviously because I'm just doing these on top of my acrylics um, I've just filed the top of the acrylic and applied straight away with my colour um, I did two coats of the colour then I've top coated so you need to do this as well and obviously you need to wipe off the inhibition layer as well <coughs> so I've used OPI gel colour Lincoln Park After Dark and obviously OPI Gel Colour in Top Coat. Then for stamping today I'm using Petla Plate Om Nom Nom <laughs> which has all these different designs of cupcakes, we've got pretzels and fruit and cocktails so we're just going to be using various images on here to create our sweetie manicure. The stamping polishes I'm going to be using today are obviously Esmeltus to Kelly. I've got Lisa, Fluffy and Shafrisco. So you're going to need sort of a real pale, pale pink colour. This is more of a peachy pink. Then you want a baby pink colour and then you need a bright pink colour. You can obviously do this in whatever style you want to but I just thought, sort of thought for the sweetie um, a nice pink gradient would look fantastic. Then for stamping today I've got my squishy stamper from Amazon. Loads of places sell these now. Um, I believe that Sarah R has one on her Etsy store. I will leave the link for that down below so you can go ahead and buy one of these um, squishy marshmallow stampers. They're really fantastic. And then I've got my Be Love Plates credit card scraper. So obviously at the moment um, you would have done all of your gel polish manicure and wiped the inhibition layer off but we now have a real shiny surface for the stamp to try and stick to. So what we need to do is buff off the sort of shine of the top coat. We're not buffing off the top coat, we're just making the surface matte. Now you can either use a white block, which is a 240 grip, which you would obviously just use on sort of natural nails, so this won't make any grooves or anything into the actual gel, or you can use sort of a buffer file like this. This is a 220 and 280. If you are going to use something like this, use the softer side, because um, like I said we're only making it matte, we're not trying to get any of the gel off, um, we're just taking the shine away. So I'm actually going to use this one today and I am going to use the softer side. So I'll just show you on one now. So all we're going to do is just start buffing over the entire nail and obviously as you can see that is already turning matte. Now by using obviously the right buffer file you're not creating any grooves or any gritty bits into the gel. Make sure to get sort of all around the cuticles and down the side walls just like that. So then once you've done that you're going to need to get your nail cleanser. I'm using NARS 99 by OPI and a lint free wipe and then you're just going to wipe over the nail just to take any dust off and as you see as that dries it goes completely matte. So I'm going to do exactly the same to all of my other nails and then I'll be back with you. Okay so now we're going to get on to stamping now that all of our nails are ready and matte. My plate has been wiped with acetone so it's all ready to go. Okay so we're going to start off with the lightest colour Then the medium colour and then your darkest colour. And I'm actually going to turn this to face me like this. Scrape a few times. 
there's the image. So I'm going to go from cuticle to free edge as I always do and side to side just like that. So next up we're going to go for this design down here and we're going to do exactly the same thing as we did with the previous one. Next up I'm going to go for this cocktail one down here and we're going to do exactly the same thing. So next up I'm going to go for this ice cream design down here. So and finally I'm going to go for the cupcake design down here for my thumb. Just like that. So now what I'm going to do is clean up around the edges. I'm then going to top coat twice with my gel top coat, curing obviously between each layer, and wipe off the inhibition layer and then I will be back with you. And here is the finished result. So this is a lovely sort of pinky gradient over a black and you can see how well the colours work together. This just looks so, so pretty as well in real life. I mean, it even looked really nice when it was matte. So even if you wanted to do a matte top coat and keep all, keep it all matte, you can totally do that. That's up to you. You know, you can finish it off however you want. Um, this is obviously just to show you how to do, um, you know, stamping on top of gel polish. So I hope that you like this tutorial, guys. Please like and subscribe for future videos. And I will see you all again soon. Bye.